Okay, so here I am again um, to demonstrate a few things. So here I have in front of me is a laptop um, and what I use is stitchfiddle.com. Um, okay. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit on this. So first things first, before we go into what I'm doing now, I like to, um, I don't have anything drawn or working up, so I'm just going to show you what um, I do to look for photos or ideas or something like that. So I just go to Google. Zoom in a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it might be a little backwards. Um, I like to go to my account instead of the, the kids' um, accounts. But anyway, so I go over to Google. And I look up ideas on what I would like to um, make. So I've been thinking about um, Black Panther a lot. So I figure I can look at some ideas. I hope this is showing up all for you guys. Um, it might just be a little too far away, but... Anywho, this is just for demonstration purposes. So I like to come over and then first type in a specific thing like black and white because you can always go back in and fill in color how you want when we go to over to Stitch Fiddle, okay? So with um, Black Panther or whatever, like I can pick, I just kind of scroll through and see what's Speaking to me a little bit, um, and then I just click one, and I save it to uh, my computer, okay? So I just pick, um, none of these are talking to me, even for demonstration purposes, it's crazy. Okay, so I just pick something like this, and then I save it to my computer. Um, so I do save image as, okay, and then I come over here and save it, okay. Then, this is the hardest part, um, understanding what the world stitch fiddle is, okay. So, when I'm ready to make a new chart, what I like to do, create chart. You're going to do which one you're picking. For my case, it's crochet. And then the one I'm going to pick, it says corner to corner crochet, which is the C2C. Um, the crochet with colors, Tunisian crochet, crochet free form, and then um, the fillet. So I pick crochet with colors because I'm just doing a regular um, row by row blanket, okay? And then it says, how do you want to start? Empty chart of your own design this is what i used to pick and then i just upload whatever it is that i've drawn and scan to the um computer we don't have to do that today because we chose a picture from um google so you click on from picture and then there's going to be uh it says click to choose picture or drag and drop file here so you just click on the camera and then you go to your uh, um, photos part or whatever or downloads because we literally just downloaded this from Google so I go to downloads and then I pick the picture that um, I've picked online okay so my particular preference or my price or size and chart or whatever I go by the size of the piece so if I want to make something small, like a 
throw blanket, something to just, um, you know, hang off the back of the couch or in the living room or something like that. Um, I start with the size, uh, where it says exact size. I come, I click that. My width is 200 stitches. You see how it automatically grows the screen. And my height is 195. Okay. So that gives me a nice, um, to cover your body when you're sitting down uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit over five feet, five, five, something like that, um, and wide enough so that way you can sit Indian style in that underneath of it um, or cross-legged or what have you. Uh, if I want to make a the net size up, which is a, a twin size bed, I keep it the same measurements and I change my hook size, okay? And then if you want to go up even more um, to a twin, I mean, I mean to a full size, I do 200 by 200, okay? With a large hook and then it, go, it, it goes from there. So a queen, you know, your width starts to spread because you're matching the size of the beds. So I will go 250 stitches by 200 in um, rows, okay, uh, for the queen. And then for a king, it would be to um, 255 at 210, okay. So that's something that you can play around with. I know this seems to be the hiccup in this particular spot, figuring out the size. So you can be even more specific and, and, and follow your gauge swatch. I don't need to do all of that because my blankets are pretty much set in stone how I work it. Um, but if I'm doing something more specific, like learning how to do a tapestry for someone's uh, clothing size, like a jacket or something like that, I would lean more towards my gauges, okay? Um, then you come down... And the next portion is talking about yarn colors. So they automatically start you off at 10. Um, I pretty much just stay at 10. It really doesn't matter because uh, you get to customize how you want. Um, but just to for verification, not verification, but just to show you what's going on. So now we have diff 10 different shades of blacks, grays, uh, and whites. So if you want to add more or less, I'm picking less. So if I say, let's start our project with five pieces or five colors, this is what it has. So I just do five, okay? And then we're ready to see what our chart looks like, okay? So now you have these different symbols up here. Um, so I, I go to the one where it has the uh, magnifying glass. That's the zoom. So I press that. And here you can make your graph as big or as small as you need. I like to start off at the smallest size so I can start playing around with um, the picture. Okay. So I look at it. I figure out how I like it. If the placement is good. If I need to add rows. If I need to take away rows. All of this is strictly your preference. Um, if you're making this for someone. Uh, figuring out what they want their colors to be, their color scheme, whatever. Um, since I'm more of a grayscale kind of girl, uh, I would prefer something along these lines. Um, but if you want to change up some things, uh, now caveat, um, I have a paid, uh, plan. So a lot of these features that I have, you might not have if you do the free um, version. I started off with the free version, but uh, it was more conducive for me to go ahead and just pay for um, the plan so I can have access to all of their features, okay? So I just pressed the pencil button that's up here. The pencil literally means to edit, to change, to erase, to put something the same, okay? So you have a plus one, and then you have a uh, um, painter's uh tray or whatever and that signifies all of the shades of color that God made 
okay? So if we want to add to the color scheme, um, we press the plus one, which means add a color. And then you come over here and you can play around with the different shades that they have available, okay? So say I want to put some green-esque into my project, okay? So now I added green to this grayscale. So I would just come to a specific area of where I would like to add some green. And then I would just click in that area, okay? So I would just come over and it says fill with, and then I do green. And it filled that in for me. That's a paid feature. Um, uh, if I wanna add some, uh, let's see, some red. You know, as for a background color, I can come over here. I can fill in with red, you know, and it changes the entire thing with all of the black. I changed over to red. Now, sometimes that could work out. Sometimes it doesn't because it can change everything. Um, but I'm meticulous, so I would I would literally go through. Let me zoom in. If I don't like a specific shade of area or something like that, I would go in and literally color in each block. Okay, but that's just who I am as a person. It doesn't go with anybody everybody else. So when you're done, make sure you make your uh, you press save. So it can save your changes or you can come back to it. If you don't, it'll just revert back to where it was when it started. Okay. So then when you want to take a look back and see what you have, um, it'll show all of your graphs that you have here. So I press save so that way we can see it uh, when we go to the main page. So this is what it looks like right now. Okay. Um. So that is step one of... Stitch Fiddle, learning how to navigate um, that, your sizes and everything. If you have any questions, please just let me know, and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. I do not work for Stitch Fiddle. Um, they did not endorse me. There's some information that I just do not know about the website. Uh, I've learned how to navigate Stitch Fiddle through other YouTubers. And then their customer service. So if you need any help understanding what Stitch Fiddle is, I ask you to please check out their help center. Um, and then just look at some more tutorials on YouTube. All right. Hope that helps someone. Have a good one.